I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. All right, uh, question five here it says the velocity of the particle traveling in a straight line is given by velocity equals 60 minus t square a meter per second, where t is in seconds if seconds equals zero when t is zero. Determine the particle's deceleration and position when t equals three seconds. How far has the particle traveled during the three seconds time interval? And what is its average speed? So this question actually asks you for a lot of information. It's kind of a math wall. Um, so let's do it one step at a time, right? So first uh, we have, uh, it's given, right? The velocity function. And we're looking for acceleration in seconds, I mean a distance at three seconds and the average speed. So um, it's a integral and a derivative problem to find these two, right? Because you know, taking the derivatives in terms of time of acceleration gives you velocity, and takes the integral of velocity gives you the uh, distance or displacement traveled. So I'm um, taking the derivative of t, right? Taking the derivative, so dv dt uh, on this side is also. Um, looking for dt, right? This gives us acceleration, acceleration, uh, which is six minus six t. This gives us acceleration. Put three seconds in there, so this should gives you eighteen. So it gives you negative negative twelve uh, meters per second square, which proved. Uh, what is being said in the question decelerating right it's a negative 12 meter per second square so this car is uh, slowing down so let's put it over here uh, we found deceleration at three seconds negative 12 meter per second square and uh, let's find the uh, the using the integral right so ds dt to find the distance traveled so this give us um, 6t minus 3t squared. So taking the integral is 6, oops, that's d, not a 6, 6t minus 3t square dt, right? And taking the integral of ds, that would just give us s. And taking the integral, so this is t to the power of 2 and minus um, to the t to the power of three, right? And it says three seconds, so we plug everything in. So you have three equals uh, three times two to the power of, uh, three to the power of two minus three to the power of three, and apparently it's zero. So when the position is zero, when the time is three seconds, right? Three seconds meters. So the car probably traveled backwards. Right, so because just looking at this graph over here, right, and okay, apparently here you have to say, oh, it's plus c, and then say so initial when t is zero, s is zero, so you plug everything into zero, set this equals to zero, so zero equals c, so there's you don't really have to add this c over here, right, just to prove I kind of forgot about it, I mean, but this is why they give you the information over here if s equals 10, I mean zero when t equals zero, okay. So this graph, just graphing uh, this one over here, it just, it's, it's a graph, um, what is it? It looks something like this, right? It looks something like this. So it traveled, it started with zero. Now this is negative, right? Time equals negative. This is times is zero. It moved upwards and then it went downwards. And this is at time equals three, right? and it went um, backwards. This is the distance, not exactly how distance has been traveled. So you should picture something like, oh, it went forwards and then it went backwards, right? In this three seconds domain. Now, this is an important piece of information to find the average speed because what is average speed? Average speed is the, sec is the distance total over the time total, right? Time total, we know right three seconds but what is the distance total right with that we don't know but what we do know is that so it went forward to a maximum distance right 
this is let's just call this is the s max right maximum distance and then it went backwards so it's like a little oscillation so the total distance traveled is actually s max times two right this is the total distance that's been traveled so yeah for the, to travel to the max is actually like what happened at the maximum right escalation and also like the car like turn around over here right at this very uh second of the time and that is when velocity equals zero right it stopped stationary just for uh, like a minimum of a second and before it turns back right so we actually have to use the uh, velocity equation again and set it equals zero right so zero equals 16 minus 3t squared because this way it will allow us to find um, when acceleration uh, I mean uh, when velocity is zero so we simplify this t's out 6 minus 3 t uh, this is 0 so t equals 0 or 3 t minus 6 equals to 0 right so t give us 2 seconds so at 2 seconds it reached the maximum distance that has traveled so now we plug this t back into the uh, distance uh, equation right so it, it tells us what's the furthest this car this particle have traveled to so 3 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 right um, equals the x s max so x max uh, give us 12 minus 8 give us 4 meters right 4 meters this is the maximum they has traveled right and the total distance is twice Right, so as we calculated, so total distance uh, st, right, this is 8 meters. And it has traveled at the total time is 3 seconds. So the speed average is actually 8 over 3 meters per second, right? What does that equals? I mean, you can leave it like this, or you can, you know, it's uh, 2.6, goes on forever. Uh, three significant figure that will be 2.67 uh, meters per second as the average speed so yeah this question uh, you have to be able to see that sort of this is like a, a testing your like your modeling sort of an understanding of how you understand like connecting with mathematical mathematical model with real life situation right okay so with like information that's not really given or written out you know what can you derive right like okay understanding the car will travel to you know will travel to the maximum speed it turn around right you have to you have to be able to derive that with the graph that you've given right and it went backwards okay so the maximum speed i mean maximum distance right between these two it's it's the maximum like position right from zero times two right it's the total distance and then the using that to divide it by the total time, right? A lot of people get stuck on this. It's probably, you know, aren't able to derive this, right, with the amount of, uh, limited amount of information. But um, with more practices, you will definitely getting, you will be getting better at this, right? So good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.